2018, question 9A. The question reads, the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows the relative position of three reservoirs, B, F, and G, all on level ground. The distance BF is 32 kilometers, um, FG is 55 kilometers, and the BFG is 103 degrees, and F is on a bearing of 42 degrees from B. The first thing we're asked to do, I, is to determine the bearing of B from F. So to tackle this problem, the first thing I would do is I would um, put in the angle or illustrate the angle that represents the bearing of B from F. Now, since I'm taking the bearing from F, I would go to F and draw my north-south-east-west lines. Bearing is measured clockwise from north. So I'm going to start at north and I'm going to come around to the line that connects um, B and F. So that angle there, Let's try and illustrate it a little bit better. All right, so this angle, that angle there represents, or the measure of that angle, this angle here from here to here, starting at north and coming around to the line BF, the size of that angle is a measure of the bearing of B from F. The first half of it I know, or the first piece of it, from north to south is 180 degrees. The piece we don't know is this piece here, and I'm going to call it alpha. All right, so once I know alpha, um, I can det easily determine the bearing of B from F. All right, so the first thing I would say is, I would say that alpha is equal to 42 degrees. And the reason for that is that they are alternate angles. All right, let's bring that down a little so we can show it clearly. All right, the two north-south lines are parallel. It's two north-south lines are parallel. Um, therefore, the line BF is a transversal. And um, these two angles formed by the Z um, when the parallel lines are um, and transversal um, form a Z, the angles, the two angles which are so formed are equal. They're called alternate angles. All right. So um, alpha is equal to 42 degrees. Um, the two angles are alternate angles. So once I have that now, I can say that the bearing of B from F is equal to 180, the angle from north to south, plus the, um, the other piece, which is for alpha, which is 42 degrees. And so the bearing is 220 two degrees. All right. So the next thing we're asked to do is the next thing we're asked to do is to calculate the distance BG. So again, let's go back and take a look. Um, take, go back and take a look at our diagram. All right. The next thing we're asked to do is to calculate the length BG. Let us call it X. Um, so we have to um, bear in mind that BFG is a non-right angle triangle. And for this non-right angle triangle, I know the length, the length of two sides, 32 and 55 kilometers. I also know the size of the inclusive angle between those two sides. That angle is 103 degrees. Now, if I know the lengths of two sides of a non-right angle triangle and the inclusive angle between them, and I wish to find the third, the length of the third side, that is a condition for applying 
cosine rule. So let us go and apply cosine rule. So cosine rule says um, a square is equal to b square plus c square minus um, 2bc cosine a. So in cosine rule formula, a is the side opposite the inclusive angle, which is x. B and C are the other two sides, which is 35 square plus 55 square minus 2 times 35 times 55 um, times the cosine of A is the inclusive angle, which is 103 degrees. So this is cosine 103 degrees. Um, 35 square is 1. Sorry, 32 square. It should be 32. All right, so that's a minor error. Let's just correct it quickly. So this should be 32 here. Um, we have to correct it over here as well. So this is 32. So 32 square is um, 1024 plus 55 square, which is um, 3025 minus 2 times 32 times 55, which is 3520 the cosine of 103 degrees. This becomes 4049 minus um, 3520, the cosine of um, 103 degrees. This is x squared. So um, x, which is um, bg, is therefore equal to the square root of 4049 minus 3520, the cosine of 103 degrees, which is equal to 69.6 kilometers. So the length of BG is 59.6 kilometers. Um, Lastly, we're asked to calculate to the nearest degree the bearing of G from B. Lastly, we're asked to calculate the bearing of B from G. So let's go back. We're asked to calculate the bearing of G from B. So lastly, we're asked to calculate the bearing of G from B. So I'm back to the I went back to the diagram now to illustrate um, the angle. Um, the measure of which is the bearing of B from G. All right, the bearing of G from B. All right, so at B here, we're taking our bearing from B, and we're going to bear this measured clockwise from north. So we start at north, and we come around to the line that connects um, B and G. The top half of the angle, I already know that this up here is 42 degrees. What I need to know is this bottom piece here. I'm going to call it theta. Now, um, theta now is an angle um, in a triangle that I just used the cosine rule on. So if I wish to find this angle, I'm going to have to use the sine rule. I know the length of three sides I'm, um, of a triangle, and I know one angle, and I wish to find a second angle, I'm going to have to use the sine rule. All right? And um, if you use the cosine rule in a triangle and then you wish to find um, an angle in the triangle, you must use the sine rule. So let's go back to where we're going to work that question out. All right. So um, our objective is to find theta. So I'm going to say the sine 
of theta over the side that is opposite from theta, which is 55 kilometers, is equal to the sine of 103 degrees, the only other angle that I know, over the side that is opposite to that angle, which is 69.6 kilometers. I'm going to take the 55 up here so that I have sine theta is equal to 55, the sine of 103 degrees over 69.6, and I'm going to write my answer to three um, decimal places. So this is 0 0.77 zero to three decimal places. Now, if I know the sine of an angle, to find the angle, I must use sine inverse. So I'm going to say theta is equal to sine inverse 0 0.77, which is equal to 50 degrees to the nearest degree. Alright, so now the bearing of G from B, if you recall, is equal to 42 degrees plus the angle theta, which is 50 degrees. So the angle is 0, 9, 2 degrees. The bearing of G from B is zero nine two 